our lesson for today is all about illustrating axiomatic system. So, if you are interested for our new lesson, watch this video. Again, our lesson for today is all about illustrating axiomatic system. Everything around us involves dimensions, space, shapes, and all other things related to geometry. It is very important for us to know how things fit together. In the previous lesson of this module, mathematical system was defined and described, which mainly has four parts or axiomatic structure. Those are undefined terms, defined terms, axioms and postulates, and theorems. In this lesson, illustrative examples of how to illustrate this mathematical system through axiomatic structure will be given more emphasis. For our first activity, we have Count Me In. You just recall the lessons on describing mathematical system. You just complete the table below. You just complete the following columns under undefined terms, defined terms, axioms and postulates, and theorems. I will give you one minute to answer the missing parts. Okay, time's up. So now, let's answer the following missing parts on in each column. So for, undefi for undefined terms, we have line and plane. For defined terms, we have the ray and line segment. For axioms and postulates, we have plane postulate and parallel postulate. And for theorems, we have the right angles theorem and the parallel lines cut by transversal theorem. So, I hope you understand our lesson before. So now, let's proceed to our discussion. An, an axiomatic system is a way to establish the mathematical truth that flows from a fixed set of assumptions. An axiomatic system is a collection of axioms or statements about undefined terms. You can build proofs and theorems from axioms. Logical arguments are built from with axioms. An axiomatic system needs mathematical systems such as undefined terms, defined terms, axioms or postulates, and theorems. The following properties of an axiomatic system should be considered to establish mathematical truth. The first one is the, consistent, is the consistency. This is a statement is said to be consistent if there are no axioms or theorems that contradict each other. Next, we have the independence. An axiom is called independent if it cannot be proved or disproved from the other axioms of the axiomatic system. An axiomatic system is said, to, is said to be independent if each of its axioms is independent. And last, we have the completeness. An axiomatic system is called complete 
if every statement expressible in the terms of the system is either provable or has a provable negation. Next, what is proof? It is a logical argument in which each statement is supported or justified by given information, definitions, axioms, postulates, theorems, and previously proven statements. Now, let's consider the following examples. For example number 1, Axiom 1 is every computer set has at least 2 players. For Axiom 2, every player has at least 2 computer set. And for Axiom 3, there exists at least 1 computer set. This might describe a routine for a shop owner to control activity in a computer shop, but it is also a set of actions. We have two undefined terms which is the computer set and the player. We have not defined computer set or player, but we can build on those undefined terms to construct various proofs. So now, let's prove a player exists. By the third action, a computer set exists. By the first action, the existing computer set must have at least one player. Therefore, at least one player for a computer set exists. This limited axiomatic system would be enough to build a network of computers to work in a computer shop. For another example, Example number 2. For Axiom 1, every line is an intersection of two planes. Axiom 2, this is the plane has at least two lines. And for Axiom 3, a minimum of one plane exists. For our explanation, let's prove a plane exists. By the third Axiom, a plane exists. By the first Axiom, the line intersect two, intersect two planes. And by the second action, the plane contains at least two lines. Therefore, if two lines intersect, then exactly one plane contains both lines. This proves the theorem that's, that the states or that states two intersecting lines determine a plane. Next, for our third example, for action 1, there are 4 real numbers. For action 2, the sum of 2 numbers is equal to the sum of another 2 numbers. And for action 3, at least 2 numbers are equal. For our explanation, let's prove. By the third action, 2 numbers are equal. By the first action, there are four real numbers. By the second action, the sum of two numbers is equal to the sum of the other two numbers. Therefore, for all real numbers, A, B, C, and D. If A is equal to B and C is equal to D, then A plus C is equal to B plus D. This proves the addition property of equality. And for our last example, for action 1, there are two triangles. For action 2, all angles of the triangle are equal. For action 3, a minimum of two angles of each triangle are equal. So for our explanation, let's prove. By the first action, two triangles exist. By the second action, all angles of the triangles are equal. By the third action, the triangle contains at least two equal angles. Therefore, if angle A is congruent to angle B and angle B is congruent to angle C, then angle A is congruent to angle C. Thus, transitive property of congruence exists. So now, I hope you understand our lesson for today which is 
illustrating axiomatic system. So now, you can answer now the activities on your module.